What's up guys, this is the only ninja wearing aviators and a superior rap bringing you another video here on the modern ninja YouTube channel And today we're doing another weapon logs and weapon review here It's been a minute since I've done one and I'm sorry about that I just haven't had any new knives re or weapons in general recently, but that has changed with this new wildlife spring assisted pocket knife i think it's really useful i think it's really nice for everyday carry um and it's really a good collector's item as well because of the different patterns they have but before we can get into all that let's run that intro Okay, real quick, while I have you here, I just want to let you guys know that I've been busy doing a bunch of stuff for my Discord and TikTok and Instagram and merch store and all that kind of stuff. So I've been building that up. And so if that's something you are interested in checking out, links are all in the descriptions down below um, if you know that's something you want to look into. All right, let's get into our knife that I got from MegaKnife.com. Links obviously down in the description. This is the hunting animal wildlife tactile spring assisted folding pocket knife but we're just gonna call it the bear knife for obvious reasons however that's not the only design that this knife comes in you can get this wildlife knife in the wolf which is probably one of my favorites i i you know i love wolves and then you also have the bald eagle and elk and or moose i guess it could be either one i'm not quite sure which one but i'll show the picture right here and whenever you order this knife you'll choose one of whichever four options you want so it lets you choose exactly which animal you want to rock on your newest pocket knife now for the pattern itself it's actually three dimensional it sticks out just a little bit it does not stick out too much to kind of interfere with your grip or how you use the knife and how you can hold the knife at all it just sticks out just a little bit which kind of enhances the look of the knife in my opinion it makes it stand out just a little bit more than your average knife would stand out however it's still smooth to the touch and lets you keep it nice and steady when you're using it either for self-defense or for you know utility the handle is going to be made out of aluminum which i think is a good thing because of these two reasons number one it's not going to be chipping and breaking apart after a while it's also not plastic which means you're not going to have issues of the plastic being ruined or not strong enough or even melting when you put it in the sun because as someone that lives in texas having things that might melt under extreme heat is a concern that i have to take in mind so if that's something you have to take in mind it's aluminum, so if this is melting, then there's a bigger problem at hand. <laughs> so as with most pocket knives nowadays, it has the spring assist open, which allows you to open it quickly for self-defense purposes, allowing you to defend yourself um, quickly and easily in whatever situation you're in. And it also allows you to open it with one hand instead of having to pry the blade open like other pocket knives might have. With that said, the spring is actually very strong, which is a good thing. It means it'll last quite a long time. I've, I've been playing with it for the last couple weeks, just open and closing, open and closing, just to test out the limits of this knife. And it has stood up for quite a while, and it still opens with no issue. There's no issue of slowing down, not clicking all the way when you pop it open, and closing it is not difficult. It doesn't take a bunch of force to close it as someone that has a hurt hand that's kind of important for me right now. So having a knife that I can easily open with one hand and easily close without too much force putting on my opposite hand is very valuable to me. It also comes with an easy to carry pocket clip that can secure itself on your belt or in your pocket and make sure it sticks on it without actually falling off or sliding around too much and it's fairly tight with three different screws that hold it in place that allow you to tighten it even more if you desire now as far as the safety features it comes with two emergency features number one being the window breaker at the top obviously being just a, a point that you can use to break windows a lot easier if you need to get you know someone out of a car or get yourself out of a car this will allow you to break the window to get through that car or through that window easily in an emergency situation and speaking of cars it actually has a double bladed seat belt cutter many knives only have one blade that you have to kind of work around but this actually has two that are angled into each other to almost act as scissors uh, as you pull it across your seatbelt. Having a dual blade seatbelt cutter isn't super um, rare. However, I do like to mention it just because it is a factor when buying a knife, especially if you're not hugely into knives and only really want one. Having a double bladed seatbelt cutter in your knife is definitely advised over having a single for 
obvious reasons. I feel like they're obvious reasons. Now the overall length of this knife is about eight inches. However, the blade itself is just three and a quarter inches, 3.25 inches. So if you're looking for a super long blade to do, you know, deep cuts into whatever you're cutting into, this is not gonna be what you need. This is a small pocket knife that can fit easily in your pocket and be pulled out and opened at the drop of the hat whenever you need it for whatever use you need it for. I wanna get into a sharpness test for you guys uh, with this piece of paper and this knife. Now this is basically out of the box. I've used this knife to cut a couple little things here and there like tags and uh, tape and stuff like that. But for the most part, this knife is unused and directly out of the box. No sharpening and very little use. So here we go. Now, obviously you'll have to bear with me because I don't have the best, de best dexterity, but as you can see here, the cut is smooth. Obviously once I you know, got into the cut, I messed up there. Cause again, no dexterity, you'll have to deal with me while my hand heals, but that's gonna be our cut right there. Now I realize most of you guys won't actually care about this information, but just in case, it's made out of three CR13 stainless steels. And yes, it's stainless steel. Now, a lot of people say stainless steel blades are terrible, stainless steel swords are terrible, stainless steel knives are terrible. I, I understand where you're coming from, but I disagree. For how cheap this knife is and for the actual use you can get out of it, um, stainless steel is just fine. It gets the job done. This knife is not meant to last decades. This knife is not meant to be, you know, your knife for the next 200 years that gets passed down throughout your family. If you take good care of it, it could be. However, it's, that's not what it's designed for. It's designed to be a cheap pocket knife that you can get uh, for self-defense, for utility, and for emergency. That's what this is designed for. And for that purpose, it does that with style. As always, I will leave links down below if you want to get this knife or any of the other three options that give it the wildlife design. I think it's a really cool design. I really like it. And it's what I've been carrying recently for the past couple weeks, like I said. Um, I haven't had any problems with it, and I think that you guys will enjoy it. If you are looking for a self-defense or just you know a utility knife to carry around with you, or want a new light knife for your collection because this is gonna be an awesome knife to add to my collection, not even gonna lie. The design itself makes me wanna get the whole set. And for only like $13 each, it's definitely affordable to own the whole set. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, the links will be down in the description below and use my links because if you do, it helps me out, I appreciate it. If you don't, that's fine too. It's up to you but uh, with all that said don't forget to do all the like and comment and subscribe and all that fun YouTube stuff you know how it works it really I really appreciate it when you guys do that it lets me know what you want to see more of letting me know that you know you guys actually enjoy the channel and it helps for views so with all that said my name is DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out <laughs>